Hello everybody, it's Claire back with another art journal video and this one is a single page spread in the small craft journal. Um, now, time I did this page, I was in a bit of an arty slump or funk, I don't really know what to call it. Um, just kind of filled with a bit of self-doubt really and um, ah, just wanting to create but not really knowing what to do, which is crazy when I look at the amount of stuff that I've got that actually sometimes I get like that and kind of don't really know what to do. So I kind of thought I had a flick through my journals and found a page that I really liked and thought, you know what, I'm going to do something like that. So I'm just um, playing. I'm just adding some paint onto my paper, sticking some collage down and creating something. Um, because like Dina says, just that art of moving your hands it's um it's really therapeutic and good for you so um i've started off with three colors i've got eggplant turquoise and orchid and i've swiped those onto my page using the large brush from dina then i'm just adding some pieces of collage tissue paper over the top um i don't know which pack this is from there are so many good ones um this is one of the patterned ones um and i'm just popping three pieces of that onto my page um, sometimes I add this before the paint, sometimes after. It really varies um, what I just happen to do first. So then I'm using this stencil from Dina called Large Halves um, and using some permanent red violet light from Amsterdam acrylic and just popping some of those onto my page. I think I'm just going to go in with three. So kind of working in threes, those odd numbers work really well, as we know, on a journal page. Um, it's just about that balance and what our eyes are happy to look at. So that kind of felt like a good way to start. And I think sometimes when you are in that place where you want to do something, but you don't know what, revert to the things that you know. So the things that you know work, so the paint, the collage paper, working in threes, a focal point and a quote. <laughs> and and sometimes that can be enough just to pop you out of the arty funk that you might find yourself in um yeah so i did that gave that a dry and then i'm using this stencil this is called curly tiles so then i'm just adding a little bit of smaller pattern stenciling over the top just to add a little bit more detail and um, it kind of then just brings the, the elements of the stenciling in the background and the collage paper helps to pull them all together. Um, particularly as I've used this last stenciling with the curly tile stencil to kind of join the stenciling that I did first with the large halves stencil. It helps to join those together. So this is called the Sprouts Stencil and Mask. And here I'm just using this particular one and I am using black. And I'm going to be again using the rule of threes and adding three of these onto my page. So once that was done, as you can see at the bottom where those uh, stems join, I've just added a little bit more paint with the, my blending tool because it had a bit left on. Then I'm using my dotty stamp from Scrap FX just to add a little bit of uh, pattern mark making down at the bottom of the page. Um, and and just, as you know, I like dots. What can I say? <laughs> so that's black archival ink that I'm using. Now I'm just using a Signo Uniball in white just to outline those shapes, um, just using some quite sketchy lines really. Um, and um, that just helps to pop those out from the background. So I guess the reason I'm kind of sharing this page, there's nothing new in it, it's stuff that I've done before, is just to kind of reassure you all that everybody has those um, arty funks. Um, <laughs> 
crafty slumps, whatever you want to call them, where you just are in the wrong place and it happens to everybody and you will come out the other side and it will be okay. And just to revert to what you know, just do something. Just sit down and get your paint out and do something. And um, you'll probably find that you will you will work your way through it. Um, and also everybody doubts themselves too. We all look at what we do and think, oh, my days. Um, so, you know, hang in there, carry on, carry on doing what you do. And what, remember why you're doing it as well, that you're doing it because it's something that you love doing and it's good for you. It's good for you mentally. So uh, for me, that's why I carry on. As well as the fact that I absolutely love art journaling. This is something I am so passionate about. Um, and I definitely, uh, when I have had phases where I can't art journal, not that I don't want to, but I can't because there's other stuff coming going on in the family, busy times. Um, yeah, you know, like we were talking about on Art Journal Lovers, um, that when you are hungry, you get angry and it's called being hangry, that we need to come up with a word for um, when you can't craft and it makes you cranky. Um, yeah, so that's the thing as well. But yeah, remember why you do it, what what you're doing it for. That's the that's the thing, I guess. OK, so once I've outlined those, I've also added some little mark making dots um, where the stem meets the top of the flower shape. Then I'm using a large Posca pen and just going in, adding some dots there too. And then I had a little bit of transparency that was just kind of hanging around on my desk and I thought, you know what, I'm going to stick you on. So I split it into three pieces and I'm just going to stick that down using some of Dina's ultra thick gel medium. So I guess, as you know, the lovely thing about the transparency is it brings that little bit of reflective quality to your page. Um, and of course, mixed media art is all about mixing up those medias, isn't it? So different elements in there too. Uh, which just make your page more interesting. And what better way to finish off a page than to add some splatters? So I'm using some turquoise gloss spray just to add some splatters onto this page. As you can see, the page on the right hand side was one that I did for Art Journal Lovers using some of the downloads for, I think they were April. Um, so if you become a member of my YouTube channel, you can have access to exclusive downloads, um, early access to videos, uh, live journaling sessions, um and i'm just it's it's fun it's a lovely little community the lives are really good fun uh, where you can watch live and comment and it's it's lovely we've done some really nice little projects together um so if you're not a member just go and check it out and have a look and see what you think um i'd love to have you along on that journey um yeah and that's it so that's a typed ledger paper quote from Dina which I've just stuck on there so you see just using the same things that you know the things that you know work when you're in that artistic funk it's a great way to help yourself out so thanks for watching and listening to me ramble on <laughs> I hope to see you again soon